Capitation. Today we will learn about capitation in pumps. Before we begin, please subscribe. Cavitation is the formation and subsequent collapse or implosion of vapor bubbles in the pump. It occurs because the absolute pressure on a liquid falls below the liquid's vapor pressure. Effects of cavitation, noise, vibration in pumps, friction, breakage of shaft and bearings, less efficient. Types of cavitation, vaporization cavitation, internal recirculation cavitation, A and passive syndrome cavitation, air aspiration cavitation, turbulence cavitation, vaporization cavitation, vaporization cavitation represents about 70% of all cavitation. Sometimes it's called classic cavitation. At what temperature does water boil? Well, this depends on the pressure. Water will boil if the temperature is high enough. Water will boil if the pressure is low enough. A good suggestion to prevent vaporization cavitation is NPSHA and PSHR plus 3FT or more safety margin. Internal recirculation cavitation restricted in a product cannot leave the pump. The liquid is forced to circulate from high pressure zones in the pump and below pressure zones across the impeller. Next is A in passing syndrome cavitation. This type of cavitation damage is caused when the OP of the impeller passes too close to the pump cut with it. This can be caused by exchanging an impeller for a larger diameter impeller. Shown in fig. Next, air aspiration cavitation. Air can be drawn into the piping and pump from diverse forms and different points. The air can come into the pump through the pump shaft packing. Valves and packings on valves and the suction piping, joint rings on suction piping, flange face sheet gaskets and pipe joints, o rings and threaded fittings on instrumentation in the suction piping. Next is turbulence cavitation. Cavitation because of turbulent flow of water. In pumps, vertex of water will create due to turbulence, which cause cavitation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share.